CataractCoach.com. The eight chop technique. Using a pre-chopper, the surgeon splits the nucleus into eights. So let's watch the technique here. So starting off, good draping. Okay, Keratone making the incision without even fixating the eye. That apparently worked in your hands. Fantastic. Here comes the viscoelastic. So putting in some viscoelastic. And this is going to be a very efficient surgery, I have a feeling. Maybe that's a little more viscoelastic, maybe a soft shell technique. A little squirt there. And here come the forceps poking in. And I like that little tear down. That's something unusual. I haven't seen that before. Here comes the rexus. And I'm not sure how big this rexus is going to be. That's pretty generous. We'll find out at the end. Could be a smaller eye or hyperopic eye. And there's the rexus being completed. And now the hydrex section and the pre-chopper. Now, pre-chopper is a popular technique in, in different areas. And that allows you just to split the nucleus right off the bat. So here's the hydrodissection. Nucleus looks to be relatively uh, modest in nuclear density. And so a little more hydrodissection perhaps. And a technique like this, if you're going to do all those pre-chop um, fragments or quadrants or eights, you definitely want to have good hydrodissection so the nucleus will spin. Now let's see. Let's see the hydro... No, no more viscoelastic. Okay. Now let's see the pre-chopper. So here comes the pre-chopper. You can see its contours allowing you to go into the nucleus and split it in half. There's two halves. And now rotate. And now there's a quarter and another quarter. Now you got four pieces. Look at that. And now each of these four pieces split again and split again. And now you're going to end up with there's six pieces. Now here comes piece seven and eight. Now you've got eight pieces. So each piece is one eighth of the nucleus. And notice there's no second incision, just the one main phaco incision. Now going in with the phaco probe to take out these smaller pieces should be relatively straightforward. So, wow, okay, I like it. I've not been a big user of the pre-chopper. I have one. I've tried it before. I thought it was interesting. I just prefer having a two-handed technique like using just traditional phaco chop. And I started off learning the Nagahara chop technique. But you can see with the pieces already broken up, it's easy to remove that cataract. It goes out fast. And now going in here with the IA probe, again, coaxial IA probe, this will be a very efficient case here. So pre-chopper, neat technique. Now remember, for a denser nucleus, it can be more challenging to embed the chopper into the center of that endonucleus. And then in that situation, there's a second instrument done with the side incision, the side port, called a nucleus sustainer to help hold the nucleus as you drive the pre-chopper into it. But for a case like this of modest nuclear density, it works pretty well. Just uh, put that pre-chopper in and break it up into pieces. And now here's the viscoelastic going in to fill the capsule bag. Let's see the lens coming in here. What do we got? Looks like a three-piece uh, acrylic lens. So here comes the leading haptic. I'm interested to see how big the optic is in comparison to the rexus. Is this an overly large rexus? Certainly this technique of the pre-chopper with eight quadrants, or eight, eights, I should say, is easier done if you have a sufficiently large capsule rexus. With a small rexus, it could be tougher. But that looks great. Lens in good position. Everything looks very clean. And certainly a very efficient technique here. So this video is pretty much real time. And this surgeon is obviously very adept at using this technique. So nicely done. I want to know your comments. Are you used to using this technique? Do you use a pre-chopper as well? Here at the end of the case, loosening the speculum. That's an interesting technique. Before, let's see, more BSS going in the eye. And then hydrating the incision. Yeah, interesting. Let me know below. Do you use this technique? Have you tried it? Are you interested in trying it? We want to know.